All right, howdy friends. It's time for another episode of the Blue Sart Biker. Hey, welcome to the Blue Sart Biker channel. All right. We got a great episode in store for you today. I'm heading over to Herwalt Motorsports. I haven't been to Herwalt Motorsports in a while. Um, I did an episode about them a while back. Uh, they were doing uh, demo days on the BMW R18. And uh, anyways, we're going over there. Today is Indian Motorcycles Days. Now Herwalt um, is the dealer of uh, BMW, Ducati, and uh, they have an Indian dealership there. And so we're going over there today to check out the Indian demo days and they've got the Indian truck there. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's all about and uh, just checking out Herwald Motorsports. I haven't been out there in a while. So it'll be a good time to go check it out and let's go see if we could ride some Indians and see what uh, what the new Indians are all about. Oh man, have I got a story to tell you. I just about bit the dust. We had a we had a uh, a near accident. I was on my way home. I was a block from my house and I pull up to an intersection and I see a, a pickup and he stopped. It comes to a complete stop. And he stopped and I just happened to start thinking Man, this guy, I better slow up a little bit. This guy's liable to do something stupid. And I don't know where that idea came from, but I just, you know, I think that way anyways. You're supposed to think that way when you're riding. And sure enough, I got real close. And he, because I just see his front wheel start to roll. And I'm like, uh-oh. And he pulls right out in front of me. And man, I, I tell you what. I got grabbed the brakes and uh, started slowing down and uh, then I pushed them a little harder and my back wheel started to skid started pulling my front end a little harder and my front front end got a little squirrely and I let off the back brake and kind of let off the front brake a little bit straightened the front end out and the guy went by and I just barely missed him just enough to where I could see him looking back at me and I had just enough control over the bike to flip him off. Man, he, I mean, he pulled right out in front of me. So the moral of the story is always watch out for these guys. You never know what they're gonna do. Luckily, I reacted properly and didn't have a major incident, but I was going pretty fast. I was probably going about I was probably going about 70 when I first saw him and I started thinking about him, so I slowed down. I was probably going about 60 when I hit my brakes. Whew, good lord. But I'm okay. <laughs> Alright, well here we are at Herwald. Let's see what's going on. So we got Pat. He's uh, working the Indian motorcycle truck today, and uh, so you haul all these bikes in this truck around. Eleven, to, yeah, eleven motorcycles in uh, eleven western states. Yeah, yeah. So uh, um, you ended up in Fresno. Where have you been recently? Where were you? Uh, up and down the coast. I was up in the northwest. I came down here to Auburn, and then I do uh, 
Northern California, then I head to Southern Cal. Okay, okay, so are you working your way south right now? Yes, correct, yep. yeah. Yeah, so uh, now these are 2022 models, or we got 2023s out here? Still the 22s, John. Yeah, okay, yeah, and you pretty much have pretty much the lineup, pretty much the whole lineup here? Yep, Yeah. Uh, yeah. except we're missing the Springfield. Yeah, okay, okay. So how's the thing been so far? Are you getting some... A lot, of butts good on, a lot of butts on seats and yeah. a lot of people buying bikes. Yep. Good, man. That's good. Yep. Yep. That's, that's what, good. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah, well, cool. So where do you head next? Auburn, California. Auburn, 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 Auburn and then Hollister. Oh, okay. Okay, yep. well, you guys make a little jog up to Auburn back down to yeah. Hollister. That's yeah. not ter too terrible. No, it's not too bad. It could be worse. Yeah. Make more sense to go to Hollister than to Auburn. That's right. right. But, oh, well. Oh, that's well. right. All right, where are you from? I'm from Phoenix. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. you're not too far away from home. Yeah, well, awesome, man. Well, great. Well, thanks a lot, Pat, right, and Mr. we'll do some more riding. Oh, and, I appreciate uh, you coming out. You bet, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so I just powered the bike on with pushing, pulling that button down right there. Okay. And then this is going to start. Power start. Okay, I'm not sure if you've been on our bike before. we got one. Yep. Right there, left, okay. right, push in and cancel. They are self canceling. When you make a turn, that would be the lane change. Okay. The lane change, you put the lane um, this menu button right here, I'm going to call it a menu button, brings up this screen. This screen allows you to change your different ride mode. The throttle response, how aggressive that throttle is. So I always encourage people to start out standard on this bike. Okay. And then change it to sport on the fly, close the throttle, hit the menu button, and then tap forward. Okay. We're doing an escorted ride, self-guided. We're going to ask you to be gone about 10 15 minutes and come back. Okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you. Alright, well this is the Indian Chief. And we'll see uh, exactly what what this thing will do here. Got some mini apes on it, feel like I'm on a chopper. Woo! A little jump there on second gear. Alright, feels good. Yeah, I like it. This is the Chief Bobber Dark Horse. So far, you know, I like the riding position. Kind of like in between forward controls and mid controls. They're kind of forward controls. They're not too far forward. It feels good. I feel as far as on the you know the riding control goes I feel like I got pretty good control of things and I feel pretty comfortable on it yeah man all right brakes stop good I'll put it in sport mode here oh that feels a lot better Yeah, it feels a lot better. Okay, now we got some get up and go. Yeah.
Yeah, well, all right. This thing's cool. It's a little vibrating. A little bit like a sports drift. We got good brakes. Really good brakes. Yeah, we're a little... It's a little vibrady, but it's comfortable though, you know, feels good. I like the sport mode. Sport mode feels a little better than... I was in the standard mode. The standard mode was a little, a little on the doggy side. But that sport mode, man, it gets down. Motor sounds pretty good. Real throaty. Mm. Mm. See how she does on the freeway here. It'll pull it'll it'll throw you if you're not careful. That throttle is really touchy. Pretty good. It's a little vibrady. I was gonna say that for it right now. That's one thing I, I noticed. It's a little vibrady, like like kind of like a sportster, but it's. But it's got a big old motor in it, you know. It's... All right, I'll get back on the highway here and take this thing back to India. See, it's really jumpy throttle when it's in sport mode. But it's cool. I like it. It's a fun bike to ride. I kind of feel like I'm on a chopper or a bobber. I am on a bobber. This is a bobber. No, it's pretty balanced actually. Feels good. Just love the torque it's got, man. up right here yep this is gonna start it. that's gonna start it it's in first gear right now the bike's got to be in neutral start. okay so it will not start this button's in here is going to take that windshield up and down four inches for you okay okay one button for turn signal right here left right pushing to cancel they are self-canceling uh when you make a turn not when you change lane okay and then this button here brings up this screen here and that's when you can change the ride mode okay also you can control the heated seats on this on this screen here also uh, start the bike up and I'll put the cool seat on for you in this one. Yes, cool seat would be great.
There we go. All right. Well, this is the Roadmaster. This is kind of like a kind of like a street glide. No, I think it's well, it's a Roadmaster. <laughs> Let's just call it that. This is their touring model. Man, oh man, what a bike. This thing is, look at all this stuff we got on here. Oh, smooth as silk. Oh, this is really nice here. You almost don't feel like you're on a motorcycle. Feels nice, nice feeling bike. Ride comfortable, watch out for this guy. He looks like he's not paying too much attention. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. The Roadmaster, the Dark Horse Roadmaster big bike but it feels good it's nice and nice and balanced see look at that smooth but just enough edge to give it some character to where you you know you're having fun riding it I'm having fun with this thing get on the freeway up here and have this thing do what it's meant to do Nice lean. Oh man, look at that baby lean. Really nice. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to get past this guy. Someone lost their box. Going to be upset when they get back to where they are going and they don't have their box. Hope it's not a bunch of dishes. Oh God, that'd be horrible. All right, nice. I think I give the Roadmaster a thumbs up. I can get back on the freeway here or not. It doesn't look like it. Well, I think I'll just go back this way then. We'll just take the road back. Feels good. Oh, what a good feeling bike. I just like it. Very comfortable. Again, it's a fairly easy bike to ride. You know, even though it's a big bike, it's very, very nimble and very, you know, you can handle it really well.
pretty cool. Hundred twenty six foot pounds of torque. Five point five gallon gas tank. Weighs eight hundred and fifty eight pounds dry. So it's a fairly heavy bike, but it doesn't feel real heavy. Alright. Roadmaster Dark Horse. Really nice. Alright, so we're going to ride the Scout Bobber here now. Liquid cooled. 69 cubic inch, 100 horsepower, 72 foot pounds of torque, 6 speed transmission. It's a bobber style. And uh, we're going to see how she goes here. I feel a little. Feel a little. This might be a little small for me. Boy, it feels nice and light though. All right. Okay. Well, this is a pretty sweet little bike. Now, I've ridden a, a, a Scout before. Um, my friend Aaron, there's an episode about that too, about his um, Scout. He's got a Arlen Ness Scout though, but that thing's pretty hot rodded. It's a lot different bike than this. So I'm kind of anxious to see how, I've never ridden one of these before. So I'm kind of anxious to see how a stock one rides. Feels pretty nice. I think we'll just go down to country here a little bit. All right. <laughs> this is not a bad little bike. I kind of think this might be my favorite. Nice little bit of smooth pickup. This this bike actually rides smoother than the than the Chief. This is a really I like this bike. Man, this thing's a whole lot of fun. This is a really easy bike to ride. Um, I was a little worried about the. I could use the handlebars up a little bit on this. But this is the kind of bobber style, kind of low and 
cool, you know. Yeah, this bike is really cool. <laughs> this is a great little bike. I mean, it's so easy to ride. Oh, man, this thing is sweet. Look at this. Woo, yeah. Got plenty of get up and go. I mean, it's not like the Chief, but you know, for a little bike, I mean, it'll get you going. You get up. Wow, <laughs> I'm really impressed with this little bike. This is my favorite one. Yeah. All right, let's give her some hell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, picks right up there. Oh yeah, feels good. This bike is really nice. Uh, suspension, huh? It is what it is. But it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, even at higher speeds, you know, it's still running pretty smooth. It just like it kind of like a the uh, Roadmaster just has enough vibration and stuff to give it some character. I mean, I really am impressed with this little bike. This thing you can just zip around in this bike. This bike is really cool. This is my favorite one.
Thank you.